the culture of social innovation can be developed by the initiatives that solve the social problems, by grassroots initiatives, by developing philanthropy among the local community. On the one hand, such actions correspond to local needs very well. On the other hand, this is the best way to teach children responsibility for the people and community in which they live. It has been running continuously since 1912. But as the story goes, the roots of the school date back to the second half of the 19th century. It was a real example of a grassroots project. Even in this time, people who had been involved in the school's development had especially taken care of the children's education. They knew that it was the most important thing which they could give their children. They started with so-called winter school because the time from spring to autumn was dedicated to agricultural work. The school building was built by the inhabitants of the village. Needless to say that Przyłękow is a very small village located in a dead-end valley in the beskid Żywiecki mountain range. There is the amazing story of the head of this school from the time of the Second World War. Janina Bül was a very smart and brave woman who gave her life defending the Polish emblem which was hung on the wall at the school. Because of that, she became the patron of the school many, many years after this tragic event. It was also a grassroots initiative. This is one of the few schools that has so honored its director. I do hope that it is a very good way to teach children how important the welfare and honor of the homeland is. Only five years ago, the local government decided to close the school, but as always, the parents fought to keep it alive. And of course, they were successful. The non-public primary school has been running for the last five years. I must stress, it is free of charge for the students. The preschool has been open since then. The idea of the new old school is based on different approaches to education. What is important? Proactive approach, children's autonomy in the way of thinking and learning, their responsibility for what they do, emotional development, and children's development in nature. Teachers benefit from several important methods. Montessori as a major one, research project, and nature education in the forest classroom. The school wanted to develop the forest class and had to convince the inhabitants to give the land for this idea, which of course they did without any fees. Thanks to that, this inspiring space has been developed. This forest classroom is also a good example of the powerful cooperation between parents, teachers and the local community. The review of the five school years work presents how many grassroots projects have been done. These are some of them. Carnival balls organized by parents to collect money for school needs. Sharing know-how to solve some of the school's problems. A lot of parents have given us this knowledge. Parental sponsorship of the renovation of the school. Even very big investment and manual work done without cost. IT support for improving mutual communication or mineral water for children, especially during very hot spring and summer time. 
fundraising for developing educational programs or for improving school space, cooperation with the local fire brigade and the rural housewife club to keep local tradition alive. Traditional meetings have been organized, such as singing Christmas carol or making Easter palms or cooking traditional dishes. Care of two disabled people by school children. They try to keep in touch with them. Or charity events for people in need. Most recently, searching for bone marrow donors for one of our schoolboys, and last year it was a concert for collecting money for one child's treatment. Each of these actions exemplify different attitude towards the common good of the community. I do think that these examples distinguish this group of people who are engaged in the development of the school and in the development of Przewenkov. This highlights the differences from the other communities in the rest of Poland. It seems to me that there are no any obstacles that are too big for them to cross.